So, but, but really, I think it is more a tool that enables human brains to think about nature and to represent nature. And it is shaped as much by sort of the physical, uh, you know, physical structure of the, the nature or, or the world around us as it is by the structure of our brain, right? And we know that our brain is predisposed towards certain patterns. Otherwise, we wouldn't have music, things like symmetries and things like that. And I think that there's sort of an abstract basis there that then leads to mathematical structure, right? And the structures that we use in programming might be things like starting with things like maybe monoids or semigroups and things like that. Now, so a semi, I mean, why, why would a semi-group, like an abstract algebraic concept, be helpful in structuring software that is about the real world, which it is, right? And that's because uh, it, it kind of represents, to my mind, it represents sort of a distilled brain pattern, right? It's something that the brain likes to use to think about stuff. And therefore, it's something that our brain tends to like to apply to other real world domains as well. Of course, semi-group is an abstract word, right? But third graders know the concept of associativity, even if they don't know the name for associativity, but they understand that concept. And that's what it's being taught, at least here in Germany. So, uh, so, so the things that tend to be useful in programming from mathematics, things like some algebraic concepts, right? They are, in my mind, they're primarily brain patterns. And so, so it's what the brain likes to use to think about things and to structure and to order things. 